me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks in today's video. Somebody sent me this clip art tree and it's, it's pretty cool, but it's all broken into different pieces and it's, um, it might cut out as a laser engraver, but you, you know, it'd be, uh, probably hard to, you know, tell it and you need to make sure all your lines are hairlines which they're not. So the only way I know how to do this is to set your nudge factor on something pretty high, let's say 12 inches, and it's all broken apart, but you need to get this line, this cut line, especially for a plasma cutter, you need to get it all in one line. So the only way I know how to do it, because you can't really just, well, let's grab part of the tree, because you've actually grabbed some of the, the silhouette too. So the only way I know how to do it would be to set your nudge, nudge factor pretty high and just go through here and just move each piece individually out of the way. And I can already see that I'm not going to be far enough away. So let's, let's back completely up because you don't want to be touching any part of the tree. So let's, and, and I'm making this, it's, it's blown up for the video, but let's make our nudge factor 20 because it doesn't really matter. So let's zoom in here now. Let's start clicking on the parts of the tree and just move them out of the way. So if you just, you can do this without even looking, just keep your finger on the, the right arrow button and just start moving these things out of the way. Now, as far as engraving, these pieces will engrave regardless if they're, uh, you know, attached or not or combined or grouped together. They'll still engrave good. But the cut line uh, could cause you problems with your laser because it, it might take individual lines. And first of all, you need to be able to get it to a, a hairline. And instead of painstakingly hitting on each one of those lines and changing it to a so red, so you can tell the difference. Let's just do it this way. Um, I wish there was a, and there probably is an easier way. You know, you could maybe lasso some of these, uh, but this way you put them back so correctly because I'm, I'm just moving them over 20 inches and we'll be able to move them back. So if you'll give me just a second, you don't realize how many trees, branches there are in this thing. But if you want to do it right, it just takes a minute. And then once you have it done, you can group these together and you'd be you know, well on your way for the next project and then save it and you'll be done. So just a few more minutes here and or another 20 seconds and I'll have this done. I wish I knew how to pause the video and get it all done, and, but I'm not that advanced. Anyway, so now you've got that. So now what you can do is carefully group these together. Okay. And just for, to play a little safer, let's move it out another way, another 20 inches. Now lasso all this. You can go up and go to your um, right click on your color, make it a hairline and make it red. Now you've got the whole thing and then I would go to group and group them all together. Actually combine might be better on this one or maybe even playing it safer, you could weld them and then they're all one piece now and they're all hairlines. So let's just back up here and then all you do is take that and move it over your 20 inches twice and bam, you've got hairline cut out and engraving. And if you're a plasma cutter, you know, you could just delete the interior and just cut this out. This would be a little bit sharp turns for a plasma cutter. Uh, matter of fact, there's a deal you'd probably want to take out. Uh, regardless, but, uh, and you want to kind of look around, 
But anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.